Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting international beer with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Man, don't ask me to pronounce this. I think the uh, L is silent or either the V is silent. I don't know. Could be Vivsky? Vivsky! Vivsky from the Ukraine, 1715. I guess that's when they first started to brew it. It's described as a premium lager. Checks in at 4.7% alcohol by volume. You know what? I'll look it up later to find out how to pronounce that. But uh, there's nothing on the bottle cap worth saving. So let's just go ahead and put it over here and open it up. Got to open these international beers slowly because, oh, see? Yeah. That's what happens. There's nothing to see there. Yeah, our cup runneth over. Our cup runneth over. I don't know why beers do this. I don't know. Uh, there it is, though. But it ran over, and it's a bloody mess. But, hey, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to pour it into this lovely glass and see what happens. I'm expecting a pretty light colored beer. Let's see what happens here from the Ukraine, huh? Uh-oh, there we go. Wow, that is an extremely light and golden color. Uh, there's some carbonation flowing up from the bottom, not a whole lot concerning what just happened there when we opened it. Some uh, floral hops in there with a little bit of spiciness. Now. Um, I don't know what the date is that this was bottled because um, this date on here, well, you know what? Maybe I could decipher it. Let's see. Um, looks like it's the 295th day of 2022. So what's well, 295 days of 2022, and that's when this was brewed. So I don't know. Let's do some quick math here. Uh, let's let's round it up to three hundred. So that's October of twenty twenty two, and we're in July of twenty twenty three. So what do we got here? About nine months on the beer. Yeah, and that's not a long time for a pilsner. And it was refrigerated when I purchased it, so uh, it's it's probably not going to be uh, a bad beer. But a lot of times you get those beers that have been sitting around for a couple of years. Because unfortunately, Ohio is a state where retailers are not permitted to discount alcoholic beverages. In other words, if a beer is coming close to being expired, uh, they can't put it on sale. They have to sell it at a state minimum. And um, that really sucks because, you know, the retailer has no choice but to leave it on, on the shelf until it's sold. So anyway, it made a little bit of a, uh, a white foam here. And cheers to everybody in the Ukraine who made this beer possible. And uh, hopefully everybody's safe over there with this crazy war. Cheers to them and cheers to you at home. Surprisingly, it is very good, but uh, it has a slight sweetness on the finish there, probably due to the malts. I don't know if this is brewed with any adjuncts, but I would say it's from the malt. I always give uh, a beer the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to say that there's uh, corn in here, or corn syrup or rice or anything like that. I always assume the sweetness is from the malts until I'm proved otherwise. Very non-offensive beer, but it is a little bit on the sweet side, and I don't know where that sweetness is coming from, 
But uh, be that as it may, leave us some nice lacing there on the side of the glass. It is a, a non-offensive beer. More malts in here than hops, that's for sure. This would be a very good beer to take into the backyard with your barbecue or picnic. I don't find anything bad about this beer. It's just a little bit sweet for my taste, though. But I believe this was uh, 500 milliliters. Yeah, 500 milliliters. So that's about, uh, it's almost 17 ounces here in the States. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good beer. This is a pretty good beer. I would prefer to have this beer on tap or in a can so I can really uh, decipher how it is. But this is how it comes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what we got to deal with. And what did I say it was? I did write that down. 4.7%. Uh, but you know what? Uh, did it say? Where did I get that 4.7? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, because I thought I looked on the website. All right, 4.7%. And apparently they've been brewing it for, what, four centuries? So they, they have to have their uh, game down by now, right? My advice would be drink this beer while it's cold because as it warms, it's probably going to become sweeter. Yeah. Right now, the beer is pretty cold, so that sweetness isn't a uh, problem. But I think as this beer warms, it's going to become sweeter. So uh, keep it on ice. That's the best thing. That's what I always recommend. Um, yeah, but it's a decent beer. It's, it's not bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and run out of here, but very light-bodied beer, light-bodied mouthfeel, a light carbonation. It's just a light beer all around, and I think a lot of Euro lagers are like that, no doubt about it. So at any rate, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two 
of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.